Hi folks, welcome back to another one of my beer reviews. I've been gone on vacation actually for a week, felt good to get away from work. But big news, I got engaged. Sweet. Ah. <laughs> well, hopefully everything works out for the best sooner rather than later. Well, to celebrate my engagement, I'm going to have a new beer I saw at my liquor store. Uh, L. Harlock already reviewed this one. I believe you like it. I'm afraid I don't know much about it. This is La Blanche Cheval Blanc. Uh, basically, translated means the white, white horse. So, that part there says, so you might not be able to see it. That part there says La Blanche, meaning the white, and then the big words is Cheval Blanc, meaning white horse. Uh, it's 5% alcohol by volume. It's made by Les Brasseurs d'Angers. In other words, it's made in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, not much else on here. There is a very small, small label on the back. And it says in English, A finely bubbled beer made from wheat and barley. Like traditional Belgian white, it is refreshing, light, and slightly fruity. So, it's getting good white beer. Uh, since this is more celebratory, I'm going to keep this review short. i got my trusty Garrison Brewing bottle opener. There's also a beer festival happening this weekend, and I'm hoping very much to attend. And my glass is not traditional for a wheat beer. Sorry, this is the only thing I had clean my trusty Richards glass. I say it's not, but Rickards tends to pour their own wheat beer sorts into this. There we go. Uh, let's see. Right off the bat, this is very cloudy. Uh, I can see in the bottom here, it's a bit clearer to see through, but the rest is very, very cloudy. I can obviously still see my hand, but just barely vague shape. It looks like it has a slightly, I don't know, cloudy orange. I'd say orange with some tints of yellow in it, and unfortunately, probably because of my pour, the head is not very fantastic. Uh, can't really stir it up much. Mm, I don't think it's going to last. It looks very soapy. It's less than a finger. The smell is typical of a lot of other white beers I'm finding that I've smelled. Um, banana. Maybe some grapefruit. Some nuts and berries in there. I want to say nuts and berries. I'm getting a nutty f smell out of it. Still pleasing. But... Cheers, folks. Um... Very smooth. Doesn't hit you with a lot. Not very fizzy, just very smooth going down. Aftertaste is definitely... Uh, I always get from white beers like grapefruit and banana. And this one I'm finding is a bit stronger on the banana flavor than it is on the grapefruit. A little bit of pepperiness in there from the spices. I, I'm not really detecting the spices very much on the smell. You get some of that on, I'm finding, the aftertaste, but initially, I'm just getting, like, a nice light beer. So, this to me is a very good white beer. I have no real complaints other than, by this point, I've had several, and I don't find anything particularly outstanding about this one, unfortunately. Still a very good beer, though. So, I'm going to give this one... Solid 7 out of 10. It's good, but... Well... Yeah. Virtually indistinguishable from any other white beer I've had. But still, very good, very smooth beer. Recommend you get this. Uh, check out L. Harlock's video. I believe he went in much more detail than I did. So, have fun, folks, and cheers again.